Hello, um, my name is Diagua and today I'd like to share some space in the heart with you all uh, reminding us of the feminine, of the divine feminine of love, of what we can awaken within our hearts when we listen to spirit and I'm going to be talking about awakening the divine feminine within our world today living a life of love and beauty in alignment with our soul and with our spirit and also how that can look in the form of being pregnant, giving birth, living an artistic, creative, passionate life and following through on our visions and purpose. So being alive today is a really amazing, deep, intense and magical time as many of you know and I think we have got so many potentials and gateways open to us. One of the things that I'm really connected to is bridging the amazing energies that are available to us now from the stars and the cosmos and all the beings of light that are working together with us to bring through this new field of love coming onto the earth now. And so many of our children that are being born now are bringing through that love. And my whole life path has been about following my own love and following my heart and following spirit. And that's not always a straight line and it's not always easy and it's not always fun but it feels like it's the only thing that will that will give purpose to my life because if I'm aligned with my love and aligned with my heart and aligned with spirit then what needs to happen through this vessel, this body can unfold in this life and I think that's true for most of us on the planet at this time that we're all just in the process of embodying ourselves that we can fulfill our divine purpose. So something that's really important in my life and my work is the heart and being always connected to the love within the heart and in that process I've been creating a lot of artwork and songs and poetry and writing using communication in its subtle and in its more physical senses to transmit love through words, through workshops, through healing sessions, through songs. And love has so many ways of flowing through us. And I found that the more I open into love, the more just begins pouring through me. And um, my life has been a lot about finding out what are the things that are holding love back because there's so much love available love, there's so much love there and so in a lot of the healing sessions as a medicine woman because I I've been walking an ancient medicine woman path and I'm a birth priestess and a spiritual midwife in a lot of this work it's just about making more space for love and creating more space for love so it's really easy actually and um, I feel like as long as we're, I'm aligned with my love and I know that it's the same for most human beings, as long as we're aligned with love things do come more easily, we can open and receive and that's what happens when, when I'm working with people in healing work, healing can happen so easily and so quickly when we stop trying to fix things and stop trying to change ourselves and stop trying to become something we're not or um, stop being obsessed with all the things that are not working and start allowing love in and there's so many beautiful ways to work with that there's so much available to us now because the earth wants to work with us, the plants want to work with us. 
we have our own wisdom system as women in our wombs which are filled with creativity, filled with infinite potential, filled with infinite wisdom and there's a cord holding the womb and the heart together, like a golden cord in women and this is where the Divine Feminine is being awakened in that connection between the power of the womb, our creative power, our artistic power, our ability to give birth to children, our connection to Mother Earth, our Shakti power, and the heart, unconditional love and that purity and innocence that children have or unicorns have or angels have or and finding that anchoring of being really here and simultaneously being really connected to heaven, to the infinite, to the cosmos. And so that's what a lot of my life has been about. And, um, and I'm so excited that more and more of us are awakening and opening our hearts to love to our creative, joyful expression, to our soul's path, and to spirit following that. Those infinite skies Breathe